This weekend, Colorado's own Journey Weathers is back on American Idol. She's been doing good, and yes. she's hoping that you will help her out advance in the competition. It is the first time that viewers will be voting for the competitors. They want to see advance in the competition, so the pressure is on. She makes this look like effortless, doesn't she? So she's back in Hollywood researching, uh, or rehearsing, I should say, for the live shows, and she's trying something very different this week. I'm super nervous. This will be my first time doing a... Uh, fast-paced song ever in my life on stage. I always do slow songs, so I'm super nervous. I have no idea. I mean, I'm pretty confident because I just got the uh, rehearsal track back and it sounds really good. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you can watch Journey Sunday and Monday night right here on Denver 7. And don't forget to vote for her when they open those phone lines. Watch for that. Time now is 6.20. Stormy Daniels wants to be able to talk about her alleged affair with President Trump, and she's going to court to get permission. But the president says not so fast why he says the case should be delayed. It is now 624. In our Colorado, we're helping you navigate the challenges of growth. And in this case, we're talking traffic. Oh, yeah, we all experience that, <laughs> right? Denver's in the middle of a population explosion, and with more and more residents coming here, well, they're bringing their cars as well, and that just makes the roads worse. And we can all see how bad traffic in our city has become, but Denver has a long-term plan to deal with its transportation issues. Right now, city planners are looking at ways to reconfigure streets. Now, the city of Denver wants to identify certain streets to prioritize transit for buses, for also bicycles, uh, pedestrians. It recently made 19th and 20th two-way streets. That's between Broadway and Park Avenue. Safety was the driving force behind these changes, adding more bike lanes and trying to improve pedestrian crossing. We really are more about moving people uh, through our streets, not just cars. And so we need to think about multiple modes of transportation to maximize that efficiency of our network. Research shows traffic on two-way streets is actually much slower than on one-way streets. So we've been listening to you and your traffic concerns throughout the day. You've been sending us comments and posting messages on our Facebook page throughout the night. We are reading all of them, and here's what some of you have to say. So Elizabeth says she, she used to commute from New Jersey to New York before moving here in 1989. She wrote us to say, quote, I have watched the traffic increase since I have lived here, and every year it gets more and more like the East Coast. Some great perspective there, but Brian, however says things aren't that bad people just need to learn or relearn the meaning of patience there you go well we know a lot of you have something to say about this and we'd love to hear your thoughts about uh, how your Colorado looks the conversation is going on right now on the Denver 7 Facebook page you can also email us at rco at the Denver Channel.com well, as Arizona teachers prepare to strike, there's a renewed push for education funding from teachers across the country. We'll let you know what teachers at schools here in Colorado are planning to do to pressure the state. And there are just a few days of testimony left in the sexual assault trial of Bill Cosby. Today, the judge will rule on a key piece of evidence that the defense says may undermine the whole case. As we remember the lives lost at Columbine High School 19 years ago, students here and across the country are taking action. Today, they're walking out to hold events, pushing for leaders for more action on gun control and school safety. Today, marijuana enthusiasts are descending on Denver for the annual celebration known as 420, but the city doesn't want to see the same issues it had last year. Mountains of trash left behind. So the city stripped the permit away from those organizers. This year, there's a new organizer and a lot more dumpsters for all that trash. The Avs need a win to continue their quest for the Stanley Cup. They're down 3-1 to one in their first round series with the Nashville Predators. Tonight, Andrew Hammond is getting the start in the goal. He's only played one regular season game for them, so no pressure there. No. Denver 7 News starts right now. 6.30, happy Friday, I'm Mitch Jill. Oh, it feels good to yeah. say that. I'm Molly Hendrickson, thanks for joining us this morning. Lisa joins us now for our first it's now, you guys, 6.30, and we're already seeing some wet conditions in the mountains as this next spring storm rolls into the state. Uh, we're in the low 40s this morning, so it's been really pretty mild. You've got a lot of cloud cover out there, though, to deal with this morning, and we'll see by this afternoon a chance for, uh, well, a better chance for some scattered showers. Already, in some cases, seeing some wet roads, and our foothills could get a light mix here through the morning. Take a look at satellite and radar. Again, most of our wet weather has been west of the divide, but it's now starting to creep a little farther east, and we could start to see that light mix uh, right at an east 
east of the divide through this morning with a few more showers up to the northeast. You can see just on that edge, northern edge there of Jefferson County. So things are already starting to happen. And on this first alert action day, we're expecting some wet roads mainly for the evening commute. Jason, that's what it looks like at 4 o'clock this afternoon. So some scattered showers turning to snow tonight. We'll talk about potential totals when you wake up early Saturday morning in just a few minutes. I just sent out on my Twitter feed at Denver 7 traffic some pictures of the snow along 285 over by Schaefer's Crossing and also here uh, along I-70. Just a minute ago, I did see some of the snow that was falling here along I-70 right by Beaver Brook or not too far from Floyd Hill in the Genesee uh, and uh, El Rancho area. But right now it looks like the snow has stopped for the moment, but it's on the way. We do have, uh, as you can see, around Mo Metro Denver, not a bad drive. We do have a pretty bad crash, though, here at Highway 52 and 287, not too far from Niowat and um, up to Boulder County. So that intersection sounds like most of it is closed. Air Tracker 7 is heading that way to get a better look at it. Otherwise, getting around Boulder and Highway 36 looks okay. 270 is getting busier for us here this morning. You can see some of the heavier traffic there, as well as I-76 and one other bad crash from the camera there at Yosemite at 225. They're looking for the crash. It was reported as a, as a car versus motorcycle there on Yosemite at 225. Some of that 225 traffic is also getting a little bit heavier. 632 now, but keep it a close eye on this fire. It's burning right now west of Grand Junction. That's I-70 you see there. We've just learned that I-70 has uh, closed again in both directions. Yes, some lanes have reopened overnight, not anymore. The fire is still burning right now. It's 50 acres and zero containment. Have you noticed the price of the gas pump lately? It's going up, and it may go up even higher as you just in time for those summer road trips. That's the nice thing about not having a car. You never notice that. There you go. It's an advantage. <laughs> Oil prices hit a three-year high this week, and this morning the president is taping, taking aim at OPEC. Nicole Brady is following those developments. Yeah, President Trump blasting OPEC on Twitter this morning ahead of a meeting today of OPEC members in Saudi Arabia. OPEC, of course, is the organization of petroleum exporting countries. The president just tweeted this morning.